Okay, today we're going to talk about Caxidia. I'm Lindsay Darby. This is Morgan Wade and Virginia Perry. We all worked on this project together. All right. So the overview of Coccidia is from the phylum Amphicomplexa, the class is Sporozoan. It's a microscopic protozoan parasite of the intestinal tracts of their host, produced clinical syndrome known as coccidiosis. Each species is generally host specific and usually only require that host to live out their life cycles. Usually not zoonotic, but Cryptosporidium and Taxoplasmosa is. Um, they spread by animals coming in contact with the infected feces, and they have a cyst stage called oosis. The different species of coccidians are uh, cystoisopora, which was previously known as isopora. Um, they're parasites of the small intestines of cats, dogs, and swine. Toxoplasma is the intestinal parasite of cats. Cryptosporidium is the intestinal parasite of a wide variety of animals, and humans can get this one. Um, Sarcocystis is the intestinal parasite of dogs and cats, and Imeria is the intestinal parasite of most livestock animals. What animals does it affect? Cats, dogs, poultry, rabbits, horses, goats, sheep, swine, cattle, mostly any mammals, and even some reptiles, amphibians, and fish. The clinical signs to look for are diarrhea with or without blood, lethargy, vomiting with or without blood, fever, muscle pain, changes in behavior or depression, loss of appetite, dehydration, and even sudden death can happen. The life cycle starts with their host. The oocysts are passed in the feces. The oocyst in the feces is what makes it infective, and it can be found in food and water in the environment. Oocysts are ingested by the new host that picks it up. The oocysts develop into sporozytes, and the sporocytes enter the intestinal epithelium and other cells. Sporozytes asexually reproduce and become merozytes. Cells containing merozytes die. The merozytes are then released from dead cells, and they can either go back into the process of becoming sporozytes or develop into gametes, which are the sexual stages, and they produce more sporozytes to be produced, and then those are passed in the feces of their host. The most common way to diagnose is by fecal flotation. Um, another way you could diagnose it is direct smear. But coccidia can be normally occurring in a normal healthy animal, the more mature animals. So it depends on the numbers that you find when diagnosing. Treatment and prevention, it can go away in the more mature animals on its own most of the time. But if left untreated in the neonates or babies, they can cause death. Um, use sulfadiamethazine or albon as treatment. Prevention includes good sanitation practices, so picking up old uh, poop, cleaning litter boxes, uh, cleaning up the yard area of any poop. Uh, keep stress your animal down if they do have it because that can cause many flare-ups and can cause more clinical signs to appear and replace old food and water to prevent contamination. Now we're going to play Coxidia Jeopardy! Alright, so the way that we're going to do this is since you guys are already kind of in groups, we can either do just two groups and like team one, team two, or y'all can break up, it doesn't really matter. Whatever y'all want, just stay in the groups you want. I don't care. Okay. Is there any way to like make it even? We'll do U4 and U5. So it'll be U5 and then U5. Let's go on this side so you can write it on the board. 
Alrighty, so y'all all played Jeopardy before. Um, these are the categories, and then as you go down, 600 is obviously going to be the harder questions, 200 is going to be the easiest. Um, we have scientific classification, symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment, life cycle, and host. And y'all can use the handouts that we gave you kind of as an open note Jeopardy game. Um, Alrighty, I don't know how. We should, we'll like, just do flip a coin. Start. They pick a category and then the question that they want to go. Yeah, and it'll be like one person you know it. Sure. Yeah. No. Matter. Team one, team two. Team two's in the back. Alrighty. So team two or team one can go first. Um, who wants what section? Let's do it. I say symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment for 600, please, Morgan. 600. Alrighty. Yeah, you gotta get all What is the team. antibiotic used? Um, Alvin. Yes. <laughs> well, I need to let them answer it first. Because we picked the question. You can't steal. <laughs> you can only steal. Why if we don't know it? it? Oh, yeah, that can be a rule. You can steal if we get Yep. Okay. Alrighty. So, I guess team two goes now? Yeah. Alrighty. You're going to be. So, symptoms and diagnosis for 400. Okay. Best way to diagnose? Equal club. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Life cycle for 600, please. The non-infective stage. Uh, I guess we should. Have, oh, clear. Um, the non-spore-related oocystis. Yes. Um, you can't. She's in your group. I'm in your group. Oh, you are? Oh, she oh, she is. Is. <laughs> I thought she was she in the middle. I thought we were still in the middle. I don't know. She Smart. messed this up. Right. Good job, Leah. That's our points. Alrighty. <laughs> Team two. <laughs> my dollar. Do something, my dollar. <laughs> Classification, 600. Classification, <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. What are the two most common gen uh, genuses? All right, does the other team want to take a shot? Okay, can I just guess? Yeah. Team Uno? Is this the last last word to talk about? Is that it? No. Oh, no. Is it really? <laughs> <laughs> the first one was. Yeah, you got you got half right. Okay, ready? Um, cryptosporidium and toxoplasma? That'll work. That's good. Yeah. Well, what would work for real? Um, <laughs> she, we have down Isospora and Emuria because it's with oh, the livestock yeah. and cats okay. and dogs. So what team? Team yeah. one? How about we split the points? Yeah. Split it? 3-3. 3-3. Okay. Alrighty. So because team one stole, I guess it's their turn now. Who else wants to pick? Team one. Host. For 600. Host of I support us. I support us. What is the host? Dog and swine. But for that specific one. Oh, I'm just kidding. It is. Two oh, is it? Yes. Oh, okay. oh I'm right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. More than trying to tell me wrong. Well, you, you I'm going to get the bunny ears. Alrighty. Team two. Something for 400. You've got to pick one. Uh, Post for 400. Oops. Post of Sisto's for a canis. What is this one? Pretty much the species that. This group is this. This is not ours. Don't say nothing. Um, Some of them are not in the PowerPoint. So it could be like. The host of Cryptosporidium or Isopora canis. It's, it's Isopora canis. Isopora canis. Yeah. Come on, guys. It's the host. Canis. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Hey, <laughs> All right, team one. Can we phone a friend? <laughs> <laughs> Wrong game. <laughs> Scientific classification for 400. What is the class of Coxidia? Forazolin. Yep. Yep. Team two? That one's life cycle. That one's life cycle. 
the infective stage. Symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment for 200. What are the most common symptoms? Mm-hmm. Diarrhea is one of them. Mm-hmm. Vomiting. Yeah, okay, you gotta move. For 200. Team two. Um, we got scientific classification, life cycle, and host. Host for 200. Host of Isopora phallus. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Just one. Do you know? Scientific, Scientific classification. classification. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to listen. <laughs> what is the phylum? Um, At the complex. Mm-hmm. Good job, team. We <laughs> said that all together. <laughs> all right, so the last one. Team two. The sexual stage. Gammy. Gammy. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. So We gave away. By 100. No. Team two, one. So, with that being said, everybody gets a yeah. Everyone gets a goodie bag, but y'all have to fight over the bunny ears. You know, so I'm just whoever. So if I work, just take it. Oh no! I did not do that. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Morgan, I don't even know your password. Did it break? Yeah, yeah, but I can put it all together. <laughs>